So Bitcoin, uh, again, last night we were looking for the pullback and we said we wanted to see a higher low or a retest of the lows or a double bottom or something to confirm at least that we're going to see one more leg higher and potentially reverse the trend. And, you know, although there is still room for us to make one more false break of this trend line and down to 6,500, 6,600, we've seen really nice buying in Asia overnight tonight. Um, Jason says it looks worse than US dollar tether. Well, yeah, it probably does look worse than US dollar tether, but it doesn't look bad in Bitcoin US dollar at Coinbase. Now, if we look at some of the other exchanges and we'll look at maybe Bitfinex because it has um, because it has more volume. I'm sorry about my dog waggling her ears. Okay, here in a uh, bit finex we haven't quite reached this trend line we have a bit stamp and so there is still room i think for this to be a wave four and one more push lower but i'm open to it not being and i'm open it to it being the bottom um, especially because of what i see in ethereum which is i think potentially a bottom and so we're going to look for the signs what will tell us that this is we're done here well first of all um if we're done here we're going to put on our Fib retraces from this high to this low. And the 236, I think pretty much if we go through that 236 Fib, which is at 77.44, then we've made a bottom. That's also if we draw a trend line from the high that we made on the 5th of May, that will take us through that trend line. A lot of people look at trend lines in... Um, in crypto and i think that that's where we're going to go now some people the bullish amongst us are going to be going oh this kind of looks maybe, maybe this looks a bit like a head and shoulders pattern that would be pretty cool too now what's interesting about this 236 fib level is if we see an abc measured move that's going to be corrective and that would be bearish and that terminates around here as well so 77.90 if we see a rally that fails around 77.90, that would be bearish. That would mean that we've made an ABC equal measured move correction and we're still looking for one more swing lower to 6,800, 6,600. Okay, so above, I would say, let's say round it up and say if we trade above 8,000 in Bitcoin US dollar at Bitfinex, then that would be a pretty good reversal. If we go back to Coinbase or Bitstamp prices, where we have tagged the trend line. In fact, we didn't quite tag. Did we quite tag it at Bitstamp? Let's move it up. We did really. Yeah, we potentially have tagged the trend line here at Bitstamp as well. So if we go like this and uh, we do it this way. Here's our 236 fib at 7015. There is one more way to look at that that we, we probably don't do enough, and that's in the futures. If we look at the Bitcoin futures, then this is a very interesting chart. And this is like for me more obviously an inverted head and shoulders pattern. So if I put the fibs on in Bitcoin futures, we're pretty close to this 236 reversal level. And that we're pretty close to this trend line. So big players looking at this are going to be paying attention. So potentially we've made a bottom. It's going to depend on how this rally unfolds. If we make two equal measured moves and then we fail, we probably haven't um, done it. Now I'm going to do one more thing and look at Bitcoin this way. Where do we go if it's just a bigger... Uh, zone correction thing this is a 786 so this is a 786 reversal so from this low that we made on the 6th of april to the high that we made on the 3rd of may this month long five wave rally we've pulled back to the 786 when you reverse at a 786 so if we go above that 236 fib level your minimum target is always a 382 so that would be back to the 4 hour 200 moving average and 8569 in these bitcoin futures so i am really feeling it i am feeling um quite uh bullish about all of this so let's see let's see where we are with ethereum 
So here we are in Ethereum last night. This is ETH Euro. And we'll do ETH US dollar in a minute. Last night, we tagged the 236 FIB. We stalled at it. We are ready. I think we're about ready to push through higher.